Hi everybody, welcome to another segment of Subject Saturday. Uh, this is the time of the week where I just talk to you guys about random subjects. So last week it was about regrets. Uh, this week we're going to go ahead and talk about 4th of July since it was just yesterday. Um, sorry this is uploaded a little late in the day. Um, I didn't have a chance to record during the week and so Saturday, today, is the only time I was able to record and get this out to you guys. I didn't want to skip it because I want to stay committed. It seems like our little family here has been growing a little bit every single day and I just, I have no words to express my level of gratitude for you guys. I just, I, I've, I, I don't care that I don't have millions of, sub, of subscribers, but I can speak, I promise. Um, I don't care about that. I love that m my little group here has been growing as much as it is. I feel so special and I feel so wonderful and I love every single one of you guys and I just want to give you guys a very quick thank you for subscribing and liking the videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about 4th of July. Did you guys have a great 4th of July? Ours was very quiet and very calm and it was really one of the best 4th of Julys I've had in a very long time. Um, when I was a kid, I had a very traumatic experience. As a friend of mine say, is said, uh, everybody's almost had a traumatic experience every 4th of July. So, um, My experience was with uh, a best friend of mine. Uh, her stepbrother and his friend made homemade fireworks using gunpowder. Yeah, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. It didn't end very well. Maybe one day I'll do a video with her so we can kind of reminisce together. Um, if I can get her to come out of her shell a little bit and come on here. Cherie, if you're watching, you know I'm talking about you. As most of you guys know, I live in Las Vegas and it's very dry here. It doesn't rain hardly ever. And when it does rain, it's usually between our, um, in our monsoon season or the beginning of the year. And any time other than that, it doesn't really rain. Last year we got really blessed and it was actually a very rainy year. It was a very cool summer. It was awesome. And I wish every summer was like that. It would have been totally tolerable for me every year if summer was just like that. I wake up and I notice it's cloudy out. And I'm like, that's a little unusual for 4th of July. And I just go, you know, whatever. It's Vegas. If it's cloudy, it's more than likely not going to rain. Unlike any other parts of the country where if it's cloudy, it's almost guaranteed to rain, here, if it's cloudy, it's not going to rain. That it, Clouds mean nothing here. It could be a lot of humidity, completely smelling like rain, looking like rain, and it just won't. It'll just pass right over. My dad actually pointed it out to me. Um, very north Las Vegas, um, that looked like there was lightning, and I was like, oh, well, we'll see where it heads, because if it stays in North Las Vegas, then it won't come down here. Obviously, if it stays out there. Uh, <laughs> but if it moves, it may come down here, and it might rain. Oh, we'll see. You start hearing the booms of the fireworks, the Piccolo Pete whistles. I hate those things. I have sensitive hearing for high-pitched noises, so I can't stand Piccolo Pete's. I was very... I don't want to say pessimistic about it, but I was just very realistic. Vegas is not known for it to rain, even if there's lightning and rain around the city. So I was just like, eh, it's more than likely not going to rain. Oh, well, at least we have the fireworks. Around 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, a uh, little one was still very much awake. So I thought, you know what? I'll show her the fireworks around the neighborhood because a lot of people in our neighborhood had fireworks and shooting off bottle rockets and everything. And uh, I thought, you know, since we didn't get any fireworks this year, which I, I was actually thankful for because I wasn't sure how she was going to react to it and I didn't want the fireworks to scare her. So I was very thankful that we didn't get fireworks this year. But she was very curious and it didn't seem to scare her at all. So I was like, you know what, let's just take her around the neighborhood. So I got a friend of mine, Kevin, down the street. Uh, he went on a walk with me around the neighborhood. And I started hearing the thunder more and more. And I was like, ooh, I was like, it's getting closer. And as we were walking, it was moving in really fast. 
we were starting to see more flashes of lightning and hearing more thunder than we were of fireworks and the booms of the fireworks. I was starting to get really optimistic. I was like, oh my gosh, we might get a thunderstorm. It might rain. So I was like getting all happy. I was starting to do my happy dance. You know, I was getting like all excited. I was getting very happy hearing the thunders. And um, I was even telling some neighbors as we were passing them, they were saying hi to us. And I was like, we got real fireworks and then we have fireworks. Isn't this awesome? And they were like, oh, I know it's so beautiful. And I was like, it's coming in rather fast though. So just giving you guys a heads up. And, they're, and they even were like, it is? And so I was like, oh, maybe I'm the only one that paid attention to this. <laughs> By the time we got back onto our street, because uh, Kevin lives just right down the street from me. So when we got back onto our street, um, the stratosphere started shooting off their fireworks. So we stopped in front of another neighbor's house and we, we were watching it. And the wind started gusting, like almost at, at the exact same time that the fireworks started on the stratosphere, the wind started blowing. And we're like, oh, maybe they got the new the weather report. And so they're all like, light them off now, light them off now. Because <laughs> that's really what it looked like. It looked like they were just lighting off all the fireworks and saying, to hell with it. We paid for this. Light them off. Get rid of them because we're not going to be able to shoot them off again until New Year's. We were watching them and like the fireworks were shooting off the top, which normally they don't do for 4th of July. That's only um, New Year's that they shoot off the fireworks off the top. And it looked like the fireworks were being shot off and the wind was blowing it right back to the tower. So we're sitting there like imagining the, the firework technicians that are up there that are probably ducking for their lives. <laughs> I'm, I don't mean to laugh about it. I just, I thought it was funny um, <laughs> in a cynical sense, I guess. Sure enough, before even the finale of the fireworks, it started pouring very quickly. I mean, it started drizzling a little bit at first, and then it stopped, and then it started pouring, and then it was like quarter-sized drops that were falling, and I was happy. I was like, whoa, it's raining. You know, I was like doing my little happy dance, and uh, poor Annabella, she did not really care for it, so I had to get her inside. But thankfully, I was smart enough to leave my umbrella in the stroller, so I had that to cover her for where the stroller didn't cover her. She was all right until I got her inside, then she was happy. But, I mean, you could hear all the fireworks stopped in the neighborhood. Everybody kind of just packed their stuff and left. I mean, there was still random, like, booms and crackles, but, I mean, it was very sparse. Then, all of a sudden, like, I want to say about 10, 10.30, um, people started bringing their fireworks back out because it stopped raining. And uh, the joke in Vegas is whenever it rains, it's only five minutes long, and that's it. <laughs> that's pretty much how it was. It poured for about five minutes, and that was it. And then it sprinkled for a while, and then it finally came to a stop. Then the fireworks went on and on and on and on. I didn't get to go to sleep until I think it was like four in the morning because so many people were just randomly firing off these fireworks, and they were so close. It was so loud. It scared the living hell out of me. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just not going to sleep. Forget it. I'm just not going to sleep. <laughs> well, I didn't go to sleep until like about four in the morning. And then, of course, little one woke me up nice and early. It was all right, but I just thought it was hilarious. The one time that it actually like rained with thunderstorm and everything in Vegas was 4th of July. <laughs> I just thought the irony was perfect. And the timing of it, too, was perfect. In the middle of all these fireworks shows and people in their neighborhood with the fireworks, it, the timing was just impeccable it was awesome so tell me how your guys's fourth of july was i would love to know did you guys get rain i know in texas uh some parts of texas there was rain um tell me tell me in the comments below how your guys's fourth of july was i would love to hear it and as you guys know i respond as quickly as i can i hope everybody was safe especially because like i said my traumatic experience involved somebody getting really badly hurt where they were taken to the emergency room uh, so I hope everybody was safe this year. I hope there was no injuries, and no fires, nothing like that. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow me appropriately at facebook.com slash yinyangsara or Twitter and Instagram at yinyangsara. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. And also remember, yin-yang is a balance, and the balance lies within yourself. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.